Hi, in this video, we're going to see how to enable SD1 on FortiGate. So SD1 stands for Software Defined for Wide Area Networks. And it is a software solution that aims to help the way we manage WAN links. So it is not focused on the LAN side. It is mainly focused on the WAN side. So the links towards the internet. And if we take a look at the topology, we can see that Firewall 1 is connected to two different ISPs. Uh, let's call it ISP 1 and ISP 2. For this lab, I'm going to use the same uh, service provider. And we're going to use port 1 and port 2 to simulate traffic that is going to these two different service providers. And we can see with SD1 some of the advantage that it brings, such as uh, ECMP by default, which means that we'll be able to use both links simultaneously by default. And we also able to do things such as application steering. And essentially this means that we can select based on the type of application, which interface to use. And in case the link becomes unavailable, the fourth gate will automatically fail over to the other link. And this is not an active standby solution. We'll have both links running at the same time. And with SD1, we are also able to monitor the link health. And we'll look at things such as the packet loss, latency, and jitter. And based on these values, we'll be able to select the best link for certain applications. So let's see how to enable this on FortiGate. We can see that at the moment I have port 1 and port 2 all in the same subnet 192.168. So port 1 has the IP 147 as port 2 has the IP 145. And my LAN interface has the network 1065.74.254. And that's the default gateway. And my PC has the IP on the same subnet as well. And if we look at the policies, so at this moment, I don't have any policy enabled, which means that my PC won't be able to access the internet. So I try to open YouTube. It should fail. So to enable SD1, make sure that this feature is enabled. So if we look at system, uh, feature visibility, SD1 interface should be enabled and if it's enabled if you go to network you should see the SD1 option so now we're going to create two interfaces or we're going to assign the one interfaces to be part of the SD1 virtual link so for that we're going to create a new SD1 member and we're going to select first port 1 we're going to add the SD1 zone will be virtual one link and we're going to save this and we want to add the second uh, interface as well so we're going to create a new SD1 member and we're going to add port 2 and we're going to save this now both our one interfaces are part of SD1 virtual link now we want to set this SD1 virtual link as the outgoing interface for the LAN traffic. So for that, we're going to state routes and we're going to create a new state route and we're going to select the virtual link interface. Now we're going to save this and it's done. Now we have to create also the policy that we allow traffic from the LAN side to be forwarded to the internet and it's going to be translated to the one interface so we go to policy and objects firewall policy we're going to create a new policy and the name will choose plan to internet the incoming interface should be port 5 and the outgoing interface we're going to select virtual one link so this virtual one link is combining both one interfaces. The source is going to be my local network and that's 1065.74. And for destination, we're just going to select both. 
for service we're going to select all services and we want to make sure that net is enabled and we're going to use the outgoing interface address so let's save this now let's see if we can access the internet so if you go back to the tab and refresh the page okay it's working so we have internet access and by default the sd1 is making ecmp on both links if we go back to sd1 on network sd1 we see that most of the traffic is being sent over port 1 and by default the sd1 is going to use uh the load sharing uh, based on source ip so if we go to sd1 rules and look at the implicit rule by default it is using the criteria to be source ip what essentially this means is that traffic that is initiated from the same source ip will use the same outgoing interface so if we had a different pc on the network that was trying to access the internet it probably would use the other outgoing interface and we can change this around based on our requirements so we're going to cancel this now let's use one of the powerful features of sd1 and that's performance slas we saw that port 1 is mainly used at the moment so we want to create an sla that will monitor port 1 and in case the SLA will be violated, we want it to use port 2. So we're going to create a new one and we're going to name it SLA mon11. And we're going to set the probe mode to active. And we want to ping the server with the IP 192.168.43.139. And we want to select port 1 as one of the members. We're going to select port 1. Now I'm going to set the SLA target to be, let's set the latency to be 10 ms milliseconds, so the jitter to be 10. And we don't want the packet loss to be above 5%. And we want to check these every 500 milliseconds. And if it fails three times, we want it to be removed from uh, the routing table. We're going to save this and let's go to the other tab and return and we should see that our SLA it's operational and that's good now the SLA by itself doesn't do much we have to associate SLA with an SD1 rule so we want to make the firewall to use port 1 as long as the SLA is true but once it is violated, it should use port 2. So let's go to SD1 rules and we're going to create a new rule. Now we name this rule as rule port, port 1, the source address to be any, and the application will be, so let's set the address to be all the traffic and we want to choose the interface so port 1 based on the SLA based on the best quality and we want to select the SLA for this matter to be the one we just created and the quality criteria will be packet loss okay we want to save this so we have our rule created so now let's generate some traffic and see if it's going to hit our rule. So we're going to open a couple of tabs. I'm going to close this. And we should be able to access the internet. So Wikipedia, Twitter, everything seems to be working. So if we go back to firewall and refresh this page, so we're still using port 1. And we see hit count, so it is hitting our rule. Performance SLA still okay. Okay, now we want to cause this SLA to fail. So I'm going to disable this server and we want to see all the traffic to be sent over port 2. So is this disconnected? And let's refresh this. 
so it's going to test this five times three times and we can see now the sla is down and it should fail lower to the second port so we still have uh some sessions there so let's generate some traffic and see if it's going to use port 2 open again so youtube it's working so facebook wikipedia reddit it's taking some time okay and we can see that we still have internet access that's awesome and if we go back to sd1 we should see that uh our sla is still down but most of the traffic now is being sent over port 2 so if you look at sessions so this should be changing to port 2 in a moment as you can see there is much that can be done with this feature by combining performance slas and sd1 rule so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in the next one